can no longer see blue now, at least not in the same way that many of us know and remember. Your horizon has largely turned to white, and there is a very good reason that this is so. These fine, solid materials, or aerosols, are now in your way, and you will see clearly no more. The source and origin of these aerosols is now abundantly clear, and the aircraft operations have now made their mark upon this planet. It's about us. While the electronic story continues to unfold in amazing ways, the story is beginning all over again with a materials revolution in medicine. It's not a new idea. Remember this? Phase one calls for miniaturizing a submarine and injecting it into the carotid bottom. Phase five. Fantastic voyage. It was the sci-fi smash of 1966. Phase one. Phase one. Scientists shrink a team of doctors and send them into a sick man's body on a mission to cure him. All stay, stay by. Tracking folks. Inject. Today, as our devices get smaller and smaller, Fantastic Voyage is beginning to look like prophecy. That one shut off. Shut off. See it shut off right in that cloud. Right in that cloud formation. the remains of one spray and you can see that one did not continue beyond that mass of micro dust they've already sprayed out now here comes another one following it on the same line right out one right after the other now, to me, this seems a little bit too dangerous for a passenger jet to fly right after the other one. And this is not actually a typical flight pattern. And so this jet here will probably stop spraying as well when he, when he gets in the middle of it. Now, he's continuing to spray through this. You can see the line was right over the other one and the other one never continued beyond that artificial cloud already made. It's an artificial cloud, I can tell. There's no billowiness to it. There's no, it's like a haze basically. It's a plasma haze so um, that's one of the problems is that there is a mi military application to this. Now this this jet here has continued on. It's continuing through this plasma. While the other one stopped in the middle of the plasma. Or artificial cloud. You can see it's continuing beyond that. That cloud right there. Spraying. Problem is, is modern high ba bypass jet engines do not normally produce contrails. This is not a commercial passenger jet flight pattern. Not found on FlightTracker.com, and so thus it's a military jet spraying 
chaff or geoengineering materials. The geoengineering materials are part of the program. It's called solar radiation management, stratospheric aerosol injection. It's a plan to help control global warming by spraying a fine dust of particulates to reflect the sun back out in space. You can go to NASA, you'll find that these jet trails have, are altering the climate. Uh, Harvard has come out and said they will, will be endorsing this kind of thing. And yet no one wants to admit it at this point because of the liability to the public. And so the less the public knows about this, the better. And so they would not they would rather you not know about it and or they would rather you label it as some conspiracy theory and thus be invalidate your your concern about the sprayed particulates and you can see that this has starting to spread out it's going to intermingle with this cloud here and most undoubtedly be controlled by microwave or radar technology to push, pull, condense, or uh, disperse these particulates anywhere they want them to. I call it remote control clouds. Okay, you can clearly see these are two contrails, whatever, uh, geoengineering spray lines. And this one stopped. Uh, the bottom line spray line has stopped in the middle of that artificial whatever plasma haze. It stopped right there. The top line, as you can see, the top line had continued all the way across. Now, if that were a regular passenger jet, how could it stop its motor in mid-flight without crashing? And then we see the top line, the top spray line continues on. The bottom line, once again, goes to the middle of that plasma cloud and then stops right there. It does not continue on. If you look over here, you do not see the bottom line. This over here, we have two two distinct sprays intermingling it's starting to inter intermingle here stops there in mid-flight so that spray stopped in mid-flight the top one continues on it's probably mingling with this other uh, batch of haze here so once again we have two spray trails geoengineering spray trails and for some reason it has stopped right in the middle of that plasma cloud now if that were jet vapors if that were propulsion jet vapors there's no way a jet could stop in mid-flight without crashing basically if these are exhaust fumes how could it stop in mid-flight and then we can see the wavy lines starting to appear now in the plasma cloud. These wavy lines are basically uh, the evidence of electromagnetic manipulation, radio frequency waves. And you can see this is actually starting to form into something right now. So that, these do not look like propulsion.
emulsion fumes. They look like they're just being dropped out of the back of the jet, basically. They don't look like they've got push behind them. Push in front of them. Every 10 minutes, we've had one come by here the same path. This is not a passenger jet flight pattern. I see passenger jets on the flight pattern with no contrail. Typically, I will not see any visible contrail on the passenger jets. And so that's the remnant of the one that just went by. We have a sort of a wind that's blowing it. And then that one there, this one here, you can see it looks like he shut off because we don't see him anywhere in front here. So it seems he's shut off out when he's reached the coastline because we don't see the um, sprays beyond that point right there. They will go far back, all the way back, fairly far, and they shut off right there. So here we see well, it's all the way back there by that telephone pole. You can see behind that cloud it comes all the way over there. And then here, he's turned back on, see? In between those two telephone lines, now he's turned back on. And so they're saying that because different pockets and climates that these jet trails seem to be turning off and on and yet it's some climatic sort of event that makes this spray look like it's being turned off and on. But theoretically you would think there would be a cloud or something in between it that would make it seem like it's turning off and on. But here we can see clearly there's no cloud in between right there where he's turned off and on. And there doesn't seem to be a cloud in between the area where he's turned off and on. Now, um, we have probably, it looks like about a 20 mile an hour wind. And this wind seems to be running southeast. Seems to be blowing southeast. And these, and you can see that the lines here, all these clouds are all artificial clouds. It's very likely these clouds are being manipulated with electromagnetic radio frequency. And so it appears that these clouds here are moving due east, but they're actually moving slightly. And so that one back there again, once again, he is continuing to spray. And once again.